Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Dog. And today, we're going to be blasting Denver, Colorado's spectral voice, eroded corridors of unbeing. I can't stop listening to this, and pre orders should be here in a couple days. So, stoked. But, yeah, this is so fucking good. Can't stop listening to it, literally. But, we'll do a whole entire unboxing when my pre-order comes. That's from the record release show. But, um, I want to continue my series on Buckshot Facelift with their second full length from 2009. Anchors of the Armless Gods. Awesome fucking death grind from Long Island featuring members from Artificial Brain, Gray Skies Fallen, Brave the Wooders, Back of My Face, and Sperm Worm. This is some fucking fun, just brutal as fuck, but you know, kind of tongue in cheek, gore grindy death metal. This is a uh, Buckshot Facelift second full-length LP, so they were still finding their sound and whatnot, and, uh, <laughs> Buckshot Facelift is Winter's Fleece on bass, The Infester on drums, Sebastian Nuclear on guitar, and Bearded Backed Vomit Raider on vocals, <laughs> which is just Will Smith from Artificial Brain on vocals, and, uh, this is number 85 of 100 on red vinyl. Again, I think this is an 11 inch. Uh, might be a 10 inch. I'm sorry, I forget off the top of my head. Even though it's right in my hand. And uh, yeah, a little DIY or die. But I guess some of artificial brain science fiction based awesomeness maybe started in 2009 with this nice little I, this might be a sticker but I don't want to fuck with it but that's sick and uh, I know the cover art is um, from some type of well I know media fire doesn't really exist so this download code might not help you but um, we have red vinyl so there's a hundred copies of red first press of 500 so that's cool. This is sick up top. Can I vomit in your ears? Yes, you can. Buckshot facelift. <laughs> but th this is a lot, lot more grindy than any of their other material, and it's fucking sick. There's even, like, gore grind elements. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see how sick this color is. You need to really put it up to the light. Uh, you can't really tell... It's this awesome fucking, like, clear red. Hold on, I'll test something real quick. Hey, you can see it a little bit. Check out the etching. And... Hey, sorry. But, yeah, it's, it's red. That's the most ridiculous way I've ever seen anybody hold a record. But, yeah, fucking killer stuff. I forget if this is a 10 or 11 inch and I apologize for being an idiot but it sounds fucking great uh, just super raw super fucking just grindy and like I said the vocals though to me are the standout like I just love Will's vocals but some of the riffing on here the drums it's just good I really really dig the production on here as well and uh, again, some of the more ridiculous song titles like uh, Foul Mouth Old Bigot Who Would Steal the Coat Off a Dead Man, Johnny Depp Overface I've Suffered the Pump Pleasant, Raping the Spider Demon, Horny Greenfield Dragon Breath. That sounds like a weed strain. 50 Pounder The Serpent bear, Bears a Scowl, St. Peter's Lobby. Preparation montage, drinking spit, 
anchors of the armless gods. I can control your mind by smoking gods' toenails clippings. <laughs> Elated mask of winter. Diseasium, the blessed basket. And then Sergeant Ferrer. And I'd have to say, seriously, I've suffered. The Pump Pleasant is one of my favorite tracks on here. Along with The Serpent Bears the Scowl. It's a badass fucking track. Um, and this is just some cool fucking shit. Like, some of these tracks are only, like, 42 seconds. So you only get a little bit out of it. Which is why I think it's super sick. Because it's a lot more just, like gore grind oriented like if you're a fan of like regurgitate like this is more up your alley but also just straight up grindcore but with a little bit of a sense of humor like bird flesh this is just cool as shit and when i first saw this i was like uh look at like that artwork just that's uh, not my cup of tea right there at all and then i saw the back of it and i was like yo why wouldn't you use that as the, the cover or even this, that's fucking sick. But uh, then I read that the cover art is uh, taken from a graphic novel Before Dawn by Wesley Craig Green and Jason uh, Whitley from AmbrosiaPublishing.com. So I was like, oh, that's cool as shit. And then I see that uh, uh, this Jason Whitley dude, he did the uh, back cover and also the insert artwork which has their i love that logo too i wish they still used it but the new logo is sick as fuck too but i really dig this guy's artwork i just i didn't know it was from a graphic novel and uh yeah this is all fucking diy which is sick like that's seriously awesome like this old souls collective Record label releases a lot of these guys side side projects and it's all fucking real interesting cool stuff and Yeah, like I was saying this is just something that you know, it's worth your time It's worth a quick little listen and like come on Anchors of the armless God sometimes you got to take your music not too seriously get a good laugh and also enjoy some fucking brutal death grind with more of a, you know, gore-ridden feel to it. This is awesome stuff, and again, don't let the band name, you know, fuck you up. This is some really brutal stuff from Long Island, New York. Straight up, nowadays, like, more brutal death metal. It's kind of like an extension now of Artificial Brain with the experimentation on their new LP, Ulcer Island, which I'll be going over soon. But uh, yeah, uh, their second LP, Anchors of the Armless Gods, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10. It's just a real quick, grinding, fucking onslaught of gore-ridden awesomeness. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of brutal death metal, death grind, and just some cool-ass vocals, riffs, and drumming, then uh, check out Buckshot Facelifts, Anchors of the Armless Gods. I know there's still two LPs left on their Bandcamp page, so I'll put that link below and get into this, because if you're a fan of grind, especially the gorier grind then uh yeah like i said before you're gonna love this and also if you're a fan of artificial brain come see where you know those fucking amazing gutturals that will can do you know oriented from and it's just sick you know getting to see these guys other projects as well including their non-metal stuff it's just like you know bravo fucking i love shit like that as i've stated numerous times but yeah, get into it. Link will be below. Buckshot Facelift, Anchors of the Armless Gods on Old Souls Collective. All DIY shit. Awesome. On Red Vinyl. Limited to 500 copies. And 100 red ones. So that's sick. And I'd like to thank Buckshot Facelift for hooking up all this stuff. It's awesome. 
And uh, I hope you guys like the tunes and stuff. Again, links will be below. And we've been blasting Denver, Colorado's spectral voice eroded corridors of unbeing. So fucking good. And if you're wondering why I picked up a version before it came with the pre-order, there's a really, really awesome, but... You're going to be like, what? You got another copy because of this? Yeah. Got number 92 out of 100. Fucking A. That's why I bought this. And also so I could have a copy. Because I can't stop fucking listening to this masterpiece. And I can't wait to get the blue vinyl so I can put this back on the shelf and play the blue one. But, yeah, Spectral Voice, Eroded Corridors of Unbeing on Dark Descent Records. So fucking good. If you're a fan of Death Doom, you just need this in your life. But, as always, you guys fucking rule. Hails.